Is World of Warcraft too complicated for new players? Well, of course it's not. Uh, all they have to do is make sure that they look up the guides for the fights on Wowhead, watch the videos of them uh, by Hazelnutty Games, and then after that, they have to download the... Uh, well, they have to download the add-ons, but then they also have to download the plugins for the add-ons. And then after they download the plugins for the add-ons, they have to set up the add-ons, and then there's a separate video for that too. But if they do all of those things, they'll still get declined because they didn't buy a carry for ahead of the curve. And so that's going to be 20 more dollars. But other than that, no, no, it's not complicated. Would we love to see some new faces in the AWC? See how there, there's almost nobody playing PvP anymore? I would say there's nobody playing PvP, but yeah, there's not a lot of new people playing World of Warcraft. Well, there's no reason for somebody to... Like, here's the thing. Imagine you're a young buck. You know, you're 20 years old, and you fucking love video games. You're really good at them. You're a god. And you, you want to invest your time into a game and you want to have it pay off which game is going to get you more e-girls valorant or world of warcraft or fucking literally any other game besides wow and also you can't make any money playing the game the ceiling for like a competitive wow pvp player is getting a thousand viewers winning tournaments for a thousand dollars and reading a thousand comments about how you're a piece of shit. So why would anybody do it? I mean, the, the, uh, World of Warcraft is not a very accessible game. You know what no, I mean? No, it's not. Here's the biggest problem with World of Warcraft, okay? Like, kids these days are like mega zoomers. Even my, I find myself, uh -huh. I'm like this. I, I just want, like, this is the TikTok age, you know? Like, we want our instant gratification. We don't have to, like, want to do anything. Like, let me give you a for instance, okay? Like, well, he's right. Why would somebody want to have to jump through 50 different hoops just to be able to play an arena game? Whenever, if they want to play League, they just play the, they play League. They don't have to worry about it. They don't have to think about it. They just play the game. Makes sense, really. Let's do a little thought experiment, okay? A little thought experiment, chat. Okay? Imagine you're a kid. And you're looking for a new video game to play. Uh, and you're browsing YouTube, and you see two games. The first game you see is World of Here we go. Warcraft 3v3 Arena. Okay. Yeah. And you're watching Peekaboo, and he's on his sub rogue. And yeah. Oh my God. He's, he's calling out all of his abilities like he's on a fucking anime. Yep. A lie. Peekaboo is making plays. He he's is. cheap shotting this guy. He's gouging He's going this crazy. Guy. He's blind sapping that guy. He's one shotting that guy. He's a hero. He's a legend. Yeah. He's the two time. Gets the dub. And you're thinking, wow, I want to be like Peekaboo when I grow up. So you look and you want to try World of Warcraft. You're like, I want to well, play. It's also like, I think that a lot of people get into esports because they want to get acknowledged for being good at something. I think that it's a lot of like, it's a lot of young bucks, a lot of guys that want to come in and they want to pop off and they want everybody to see how fucking good they are. Sounds sad. I think that's the reason why a lot of people get into competitive stuff, right? Yeah, that's just, that's how it is. And, um, why is he pixelated? Oh, this was on Twitch. And you have to understand that Twitch's highest bitrate is designed for a Nokia phone. So, yeah, that's why the bitrate for this is low. Um, anyway, so people want to play a game that they're going to get acknowledged for being really good at this game. They want to be the next faker. They want to be the next uh, fucking... Uh, Tarek, right? Or Asu, like one of these like really, really popular, they're in the next Shroud. People aren't trying to be the next World of Warcraft player. The next Peekaboo, the next Vinruki. That's just the truth. There's no girls, there's no fame, and there's no fortune. That's a big fucking reason. V3 Arena, that sounds awesome. I want to play Subrogue. So you buy World of Warcraft. You yeah. download World of Warcraft. You make your character, and then you're like, wait, what? Can I just play arena? No. no. You have to level. Okay, well, I guess I'll Okay, you level. level. That's fine. And then you you level up. Okay? You level up your rogues. So now you can, can be I like do Peek arena? Okay, can I play now? No. No. 
you can't play now. No. Now you have to grind honor gear. That's right. And on top of grinding honor gear, you also need to start working on your crafted gear. That's right. You want right. to have the right embellishments. Well, what and are embellishments? Oh, okay. Well, embellishments. Well, you are, have to understand there's a system. Are these it's little a, additions that yeah. you can add to your gear that make uh -huh. you a lot more powerful. And if you don't have them, you're probably screwed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I guess okay, I'll just do go that get too. Those. So That's what fine. do I need to do? Like my campaign? Yeah. Get okay. on the campaign. So now do it up. Yeah. All right. Now that you've right. got your honor gear, you need to start queuing and uh, yeah. you need to work on your conquest gear. Don't worry. Well, you need to get the enchants too, though, for the gear also. Keep that in mind. You got to enchant the gear, get gems for it, all that. You are way behind on gear and you're at a big disadvantage, but that's really no problem. Oh, wait, yeah. you're actually really screwed because you don't have any add-ons. Okay, so oh. what you really need to do is you need to go uh, download yeah. a program called Curse Forge. Yeah, you have to download a program to download more programs for the game so you can play the game. Okay, now download Curse Forge and you can get these different add-ons, okay? So you're uh -huh. gonna need S Arena so you can track all your diminishing returns. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna need to set up Tell Me down so you can see like when your abilities and procs uh -huh. are up to do optimal damage. Yeah. Uh, you know, right, you're gonna need to set up uh, uh, Omni CD so you can see your teammates' abilities. You Naturally. need to set up Omni Bar so you can track the enemy uh, abilities. Of course. Um, and then uh, on top of that, uh, yeah. you're gonna get, need to get details. So whenever you get yeah, one shot, course. you can try to figure out what killed you immediately. Right, you can um, go back, look at the death recap. Okay, now let me know when you get all of that set yeah, up. Yeah, so you have to get all that, and then also not only download it, right, but you also have to set it up. Okay, great. Now your gear still sucks, so you're yeah. gonna have to grind that out for a little bit to be on an even playing field. Yeah, cause, yeah. and Nobody I know you're just getting one shot all over the place, but you're gonna figure it out eventually. And that's why you need to download Mez's Weak Aura Packet. Oh, there's another, oh, there's a Weak Aura, oh, we forgot about the Weak Aura Packet. So that's a set, yeah, because true. Even though you're not exactly true. sure what's gonna kill you, uh, when enough horns and whistles go off, you, you'll be able yeah. to figure it out. Okay, and then it's like, what the fuck? I'm Alt F4, uh -huh. okay? <laughs> like, that's why, that's why. Well, he wasn't even halfway done. And then the best part is you do all of the things that you could do. And you're like, all right, it's time to play arena. Well, I guess I'll join this group. Declined. No, I'll kind of play these guys. No, declined. Nobody will play with you. Because you don't have any rating. You don't have achievements that go back 10 years. People are a little intimidated uh, when it comes to World of Warcraft. Yeah, you got to play solo shuffle. Now, exactly. imagine that same person. It tunes into like a Counter Strike tournament. Yeah. And he's watching Fraud. Fraud, I probably hasn't played in a million years, but it's all I know. Okay. He's, he's watching Fraud from Complexity uh, from 2008, op mm -hmm. people. And he's like, oh my God, Fraud's so good at opping. I want to op. And then he downloads the game and starts playing. Yep. And that's it. The end. You know, like, <laughs> it's a pretty jarring comparison. Yeah. But I feel like it's the biggest obstacle. When it comes to World of Warcraft PvP, what's up, Zarya? And people can appreciate being good at Counter-Strike. Like, somebody who has never played Counter-Strike can watch you get a headshot really fast and be like, nice, good one. Somebody that sees you make a really good play in WoW is like, the game's over, and they're like, well, did you win? <laughs> biggest obstacle when it comes to World of Warcraft is it's very difficult an MMORPG, yeah. and listen, I, I have to give a lot of credit to the developers because for us who've been around for a long time, uh -huh. the gearing process has gotten a lot better over time. It has. You know what I mean? That's like true. I, I do think there's a lot of positives to this expansion. I feel like they've done a really good job making it more convenient and better for That's us. True. But true. That doesn't change the fact that it is extremely complicated to play this game. If you were- Well, it's also the game is super complex. Like that's it. And, and also like, not it, like maybe World of Warcraft shouldn't be an esport. Like not every game needs to be an esport. New player in World of Warcraft, good luck. Is it's all I'm MMO. saying. Good freaking luck, you know. So that's why I think a lot of people, as sad as it is to say, yeah. And I think it's important to at least admit this because then maybe in the future we can move forward and make it better for people to you know try World of Warcraft and play PvP because that would be ideal. Um, but I think it's important to admit that if they want people to try PVP and play WoW again, they need to cut out literally 80% of all the buffs and debuffs and probably 50% of the abilities just flat out reduce CC by like 60, 70%. The game is fucking fried, man. They're absolutely fucking fried. Like I showed that. Do I still have it up? Look at this. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? It's, yeah, it's still there.
Meanwhile, in Classic WoW, there's like two debuffs and that's it. It's a lot easier for people to just play other games. You just log on and yeah. play. That's it. Like you just play League, you just play Dota, you just play Counter-Strike, you just whatever you want. You know what I mean? The issue is the elitism. The elitism shouldn't even exist though. You think, you think when I play Overwatch, I care about elitism? No. I just queue up and I can play. Yeah. I download Overwatch and I play. There's no elitism. I just get ranked. There's there's enough people playing where I just queue and if I suck, I get right. put into bronze. And if I'm pretty good, then I get put into you know gold. And if I'm a little better than good, I get to be diamond. And sure. you know what I mean? I'm just playing against people that are relatively skill level. There's no elitism gatekeeping it. The only reason there's elitism is because uh, I feel like the community is relatively small, so it's hard to actually get into groups. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I think solo shuffle, this is actually what I believe. I believe, and people are gonna hate me for saying this, I believe the future of WoW PvP is solo shuffle. Oh, he's completely right. He's 100% right. Nobody wants to have to log on and wait for two other people to get on to be able to play the game in any sort of a competitive way. Absolutely. And I think there is a and, lot and of things And also, that... like, it's obvious that it's the future. Because everybody's playing solo shuffle and nobody's playing arena. So why it... So why is it that everybody, as soon as you gave them a solo queue option, they all quit playing arena? There you go. That need to be done to make it as ideal as possible. But I'm telling you, a solo queue mode is the only reason that I feel like World of Warcraft gains popularity in PvP. And I think in season one of Drake... I, I, I think that it is impossible for WoW to gain popularity in PvP unless they completely revamp the game from the ground up. Like, I'm talking about, like, bigger than Cataclysm, bigger than Legion. I'm talking about back to basics, all the way back to, like, vanilla WoW and build up from there. It's too much. It's just like nobody is going to watch this shit. Reset everything. In flight, when people played solo shuffle, when it was new, it was exciting, it was fresh, there was lots of people mm -hmm. queuing, the queue times weren't too long. People finally got to play the game. There's Imagine so that. many people that want to play PvP, but they just sit in LFG all day long. And it's also like another little minor thing is like, you know one of the reasons why uh, people don't like playing Arena? Is tanks in Arena. Have you ever played an Arena game against a tank and had fun? Because I haven't. Played the game 15 years, I've never had fun. Yep, as a tank? Yes, exactly. Tanks really aren't a problem. We've gone through 700 games w without seeing a tank. Uh, yeah, until they are. Yeah, they should not let you queue tank specs into Arena. They're not fun to play against in a way that is completely unique to tank specs. Tanking is designed for dragons, not players. And then they play one game in LFG, mm -hmm. and then they get kicked out of the group, and then they're back to of LFG. Course. So Solo Shuffle was actually like their godsend where they could just play. Oh my God, I've got an hour. Yep. I'm going to log on. I'm going to play some Solo They'll Shuffle. They'll be able to queue for one Great. game. Great, I'm in this game. I get to play. It's fun. I'm gaining yeah. my rating. I'm getting my rewards. This is amazing. And then obviously... In season two, with like ratings being gate kept and stuff like that, I feel like it lost a little bit of popularity, but hopefully it'll pick back up now that they've added some more rating and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I really feel like a solo queue mode actually is like the future of WoW. I know you guys hate me saying that. It, like, I don't, maybe I don't even want to admit it to myself, but unless there's like some better way for people to queue threes it's always going to be this thing where it's like you have such an extremely difficult time to play unless you already have friends which yeah. lots of people don't or unless you're already heavily invested in the community which a lot of people aren't you know it's also that the uh the hardcore players like the ceiling gets higher the really good players get better but the floor stays the same so like a new player that's playing wow is just as shitty as you were whenever you came into the game playing it basically like assuming like there's no pc issues or you know it was like back before like the internet was like there was nothing on the internet to look stuff up for like they're yeah the, the, like the the floor stays the same and the ceiling just gets higher
Like they don't have any, there are people that are even super invested in the community. They can't find mm -hmm. anyone to play with. Most of the time I log on, nobody wants to play. Uh, I have a friends list full of like gladiators and mm -hmm. rank ones and stuff like 90% of the time, nobody wants to play. So I just sit in LFG or I sit in solo shuffle, you know? There you go. It's Whereas not a surprise at all. I want to play uh, Overwatch, I just log on, game. Mm -hmm. want to play Dota, log on, game. Two seconds. So I've, I don't know exactly how we Yeah, you that. can immediately start playing the game without having to deal with a bunch of bullshit. And with WoW, there are so many barriers to entry, and, and raiding is the same thing. Like, it's just, it, 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 there's just too much in the game, man. There, but I feel like... These are not important. MMORPGs, but while yeah and you're, you're right but like those games compete for the attention of players that are interested in pvp like for people that are in, like i like you guys do y'all remember back in like cataclysm where a lot of wow pvpers quit wow to play league and dota that was like a really big thing back then like there were tons of people that moved over from like wow over to to league or dota there's a massive wave and i remember like everybody was moving over and like i was thinking about it i didn't want to because i had just gotten invincible so it's like well i'm not gonna quit now i just got this mount and so i never played league or dota but yeah a lot of people did uh, that's true i forgot about it. yes so like while these other games are not mmos they are competing for the attention of players that would play wow as an mmo if those if those games did not exist People always complain there's not enough content. Now they're complaining there's too much. You can't win, dude. No, that's not true. When were people complaining there wasn't enough content? Because that wasn't happening in the context of PvP. Nobody was ever complaining, wow, I get my gear too fast. Shadowlands? Did you play Shadowlands? Did, whoa, wait, did anybody here actually put themselves through the fucking self-harm of playing Shadowlands? Because that's not what happened. In Shadowlands, you had to upgrade your gear with honor 50,000 fucking times just to use it. Everybody hated that. That's the exact opposite. That's why they changed it in, in Dragonflight. People don't remember anything. I think that there is a good um, solo queue mode. And there's got to be like more convenience. Like I've, I really want more people to play WoW. I, I do. I love this game. Not going to happen. I'm not shit talking. Like, I'm not shit talking. World of Warcraft is literally... That like I've dedicated my life to this game in a lot of ways. Yeah, you play so, a lot. Yeah, uh, I love this. I game. I played the game I a lot nothing too. But it's success. But I feel like there's some. There's I some... mean, he's been sitting in queue. Like, here's a fucking problem. You guys can't see it. Uh, but like, it says average wait time 17 minutes. Time in queue 12 minutes. Like, this has been an eight minute video. He's been trying to play one game. So what's the solution? There is no solution. You're not going to get new players for a game that has, that gives you no clout, no money, no e-girls, and it's hard to learn. Like, that's just a trick. It's just not going to happen. Like, fuck, guys. Like, I mean, uh, really. Like, I'm just trying. I, I'm just trying to be honest here, all right? You can't fix that. Yes. Well, you can, but they're not going to. Hurdles that need to be, uh, you know, jumped over, and I feel like there's got to be, like, some changes, like, some big changes you know and i hate add-ons it's a different conversation but i hate add-ons they should just take add-ons out of the game just take them out any add-on that changes the way that you view combat data take it out of the game i think that the ui needs to be improved and add-ons need to be pruned from the game yeah my and man I, I think fuck yes if for no yep. other reason absolutely than making it more accessible to new players. Yes, that is one hundred fucking yeah, percent. It's a, uh, it's an interesting take. I know a lot of people disagree with me. That's fine. I'm, I'm willing to change my mind on what I'm saying as well. Like I'm not, I'm not totally set in my ideas, but I do feel like I'm on the right track as to why it's like it's hard for people to want to play. You know? Yeah, of course. I was too many abilities right now too. Legion was the last surge of new players. The game stack around and grew because it's the most simplistic in recent times. I, I, I really do believe that. I'm not gonna lie. I. I, uh, this is something we watched yesterday. You guys want to see it? I genuinely believe with all of my heart and soul that damage rotations in this game are way too complicated. Like they are way too complicated. There's too many modifiers. There's too many cooldowns. There's too many abilities. 
And uh, a perfect example is an arcane mage PVE guide. I'm gonna show you this, okay? This is gonna freaking blow your mind, okay? We're just gonna watch this for a second. Imagine, imagine you're a new player and someone's trying to explain this to you, okay? You're like, I, I wanna get into raiding. How do I do damage as an arcane mage? Let's watch. Now let's head into this single target rotation. 15 seconds before the pull, you want to be spamming Arcane Explosion to fish for clear casting procs. This part may vary based on your haste levels, but in general, 9 seconds before the pull starts, you want to cast Evocation so we can start stacking Siphon Storm. At around 3 seconds, you want to cast a Rune of Power into an Arcane Blast precast and Arcane Orb. The pull has now begun, and we already have 4 Arcane Charges, so we're ready to start our Arcane Surge burn. However, this burn will change based on if you have Double Time Warp activated or not. So if you plan on popping Double Time Warp, you want to immediately stack Arcane Harmony to 20, then continue with the burn rotation. If you aren't popping Double Time Warp, then you don't have to Has worry the about fight started yet? Yeah, is this... Has, is, no, the fight hasn't even started. Okay. Arcane Harmony, and can immediately start with Radiant Spark when the pull begins. After Radiant Spark, we cast three Arcane Blasts into Arcane Surge and Nether Tempest. Now, if Time Warp is up, you want to cast Arcane Blast and Spell Q Arcane Barrage into it. If you're not sure what it means to Spell Q, I'll have an explanation of it down in the description. If you're not in Time Warp, then forget about Arcane Blast, just cast Arcane Barrage, and Touch of the Magi while Barrage is traveling, but right before it lands. The reason that we pop Touch of the Magi while Barrage is traveling is so that we gain about an extra second of Touch of the Magi uptime while still benefiting from Barrage inside it. Also, Touch of the Magi itself gives us four Arcane Charges, so right after Touch of the Magi, we want to follow a simple priority list. Nether Precision buffed Arcane Blasts, Clear Cast Arcane Missiles, this is a and simple Regular Arcane list. Blasts. Now, due to Arcane Bombardment, this... if your target is under 35% health, you want to Barrage and have it land just before Touch of the Magi ends. Otherwise, use Presence of Mind to fit one last Arcane Blast into Touch. And finally, if you're in Double Bloodlust, you want to cast a Barrage on the last global of your Arcane Surge buff. Otherwise, just follow the priority list as usual, and once your Arcane Surge buff wears off, cast Shifting Power, and that's the end of the Arcane Surge burn. Now, I know this may be a lot to take in all at once, especially since the rotation changes so much based on if Lust is active or if the target's in execute. My best advice would be to take it one step at a time, first learn the rotation without Lust or execute, and then gradually start incorporating the other conditionals. To help you out with this, I created a cheat sheet that you can find in the description of this video, and it'll have everything you need to know about the rotation, so you can have that pulled up Back on the Back in uh, Wrath, uh, what you needed to do is you would do uh, fucking for Arcane Mage, you would cast uh, Arcane Blast. And you would do that four times... And then you would cast Arcane Missiles. And then sometimes you would get a proc and you could cast Arcane Missiles again. Now after that, <laughs> you go back to Arcane Blast. I'd, while practicing. Bro, after like, come, come on, man. Like, come That's on, insane. bro. That is too much, man. Like, it's too much. I, I get it. Yeah. People, you want, like... You want the rotations to be interesting. And this is this is the thing, right? Is that while the developers are trying to make the game rewarding for people that play it as a job. Good job. You you've succeeded. They have succeeded in that and it has happened. But here's the issue. Nobody else is going to have any fucking fun. Enough where you're not just playing classic spamming frostbolt. I totally understand that. And maybe you don't even want the rotation as simple as like Wrath of the Lich King, where like you're spamming Arcane Blast, you have charges, you buff up, like your abilities are getting buffed by your charges, and then you, you know, use your barrage to dump your charges and reset. And mm -hmm. if you happen to get a proc, you use it. Like, I feel like there's enough complexity there, or it's still fun. But like, Le like Legion was a good example too of like the rotations weren't too ridiculous but now no, it's no they weren't that bad it's like back in the day uh you know if you were playing a warlock in classic wow your rotation you could play you could do your rotation with the garage door opener you just shadow bolt shadow bolt shadow bolt shadow bolt shadow bolt done all right boss is dead how'd i do all right pretty good and that's it because a lot of people played that it's like it's crazy bro it's, I got a 90. Yeah. That's what I think. Uh, Pre pull, what you want to do, you want to cast it before the boss gets pulled so you can you get the first one in there earlier. And that's about it. I think there's like some challenges that face World of Warcraft. And like I said, I, yeah. I love this game, but the rotations for uh, some things are a bit convoluted. Yeah, 100%. Legion had so much choice just because everything did stuff. Like, uh, ha half your buttons the don't... The ID say rotations for some things are a bit convoluted. A little bit, yeah. I'm not even joking. You need, like, a four-year college degree to be able to DPS as Arcane. You need literally, like, a four-year co college degree to DPS as an Arcane Mage in yep. PvE. It's way too crazy.
Shadow Priest is just as complicated, but these two specs are exceptions. I mean, I was looking at, uh, let me let me see if I can find it. I made a list. I made a list of um, Frost Mage abilities. These are just attacks. This is, uh, look at this, okay? This is Frost Mage after the rework, okay? I'm gonna show you guys this. As, as a Frost Mage after the rework, these are your attack buttons. These are all things you need to have Keybind to do damage. You need to have Frostbolt, Ice Lance, Flurry, Frozen Orb, Blizzard, Cone of Cold, Frost Nova, Fire Blast, Arcane Explosion, Blast Wave, Ray of Frost, Glacial, Ice Nova, Comet Storm. Ebon Bolt actually got pruned. They literally pruned it. So oh, Ebon Bolt did get pruned. making the game easy again, then you, huh? For your Water Elemental alone, you need Water Jet Keybind, you need Pet Attack Keybind, you need Pet Freeze Keybind, and if you happen to PvP, you also need to use Ring of Fire and you also need to use Frost Bomb. And that's that. These are just attacks. It's a lot. Now I've heard people have the opinion that like there are people that have the opinion that it's better to have more attacks, which means more options, which means higher skill cap. No, the idea that you can only be good at a game if there's a lot of buttons in the game. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. How many buttons does Counter Strike have? How many buttons does League have? MMO player logic, yes. People are so fucking stupid, man. Again, it, it is people that want their 15-year time investment into a video game to matter. Well, guess what? It looks like Vinruki's going to give me a quest. Uh, guess what? It, like, it won't because everybody else quits. Like, uh, I've had that conversation with people. Yeah. But a bit much i think compared to like this is legion on legion you had spammable uh arcane blast explosion and barrage when you got procs you used missiles mm -hmm. you had arcane orb as a short cd you had mark of alaneth and arcane power and palm as your long cities you had four defensives temp shield priz cloak ice block greater invis your utilities were mass invis shimmer displacement nova slow spell steel even that's too much and it was the most That's fun way way too much like it's just my opinion i don't think you need greater invis i don't think you need temp shield you just need one of these get rid of slow uh let's see probably get rid of one of the other ones that 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 i think that's probably a little bit better it's ever. fine it's a lot this better this is literally one of the most fun specs i've ever played in my entire life league of legends has like well that's that's you what zico says like He's like, why is League of Legends so fun to play? Like, why are MOBAs so fun to play? You have four, no, five, not. six buttons. Maybe uh, and then you add like flash or whatever. You have like seven buttons. But every button does something. Yeah. Meaningful. Every People you... hated the prune though. Remember what I said? I said that they were right for doing it. Press does, feels like it actually matters. Yeah, but there's been plenty of times, Axton, where, you know, those little buttons... Oh, listen, I understand, man. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I get it. World of Warcraft is never going to be a game that has five buttons, but I feel like you could have like 20. You know, you could have like 20 buttons, and that's fine. 20 is kind of a lot for a casual gamer. So yeah, even 20 is fucking crazy. I think it should have like 10 to 15. Like 10 to 15, it's an MMO. It's more complex. Like, I don't want to see... Like, you, you don't need, bro... The game was fun in vanilla, and it didn't have that many buttons. Like, I, that that's it. I, I don't want to fucking play some piano. Please stop. But it's better than 40. The ability prune after a wad pretty disliked. Well, it's because they, they pruned, like, iconic, really fun abilities, like Grounding Totem. And also keep in mind that uh, even in vanilla WoW, there were a lot of bullshit abilities that you probably didn't really need. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a hot take. I think Heroic Strike is stupid. It should have never existed. It's a shit ability. The way it plays is shit. Everything about it is shit. And they, did, they made a good decision in Cataclysm. Remember, they made it a secondary ability. Same with Cleave. 
It was a glorified auto. It's a glorified, it's a yellow auto attack. <laughs> it's like a, fuck, they convince people that this is gameplay. Uh, also, Rend. Uh, I, I feel like um, we didn't really need Rend. I'm going to be real. Uh, don't need Rend. Especially not in PvE. No reason to have it. Let's see, besides that... Oh, fuck. Ren's great in PvP? Yeah, a little bit. But it's a, it's a cosmetic thing. Like, you don't ever... You only reason you use Rend is to make sure a rogue doesn't run away. That is the dumbest... Like, so you put an entire ability in the game just to counter one class? Get the fuck out of here. That's a waste. Ren should be applied by an auto hit. Yeah, something like that. No, it shouldn't. It should just have deep wounds. That's it. It's all you need. Dots are interesting. How many? Maybe give fi people 50 dots. That would be so interesting, huh? Slam. Yeah, they should have... Slam shouldn't be in the game either. Yep, you're right. You've got uh, fucking Bloodthirst and you got Whirlwind. And you've got Cleave and Heroic Strike as, as, as fucking active attacks that are off GCD. And you have, oh, you have hamstring. And execute. That's it. Do we need anything at revenge? Nope, take it out. Revenge sucked in classic. Just take it out of the game. Overpower? Yeah, I guess overpower would be all right. Moral strike? Yeah. So that's about like, yeah, eight, ten buttons. We got it. They weren't, they, it's not like, yeah. They pruned like really crazy important abilities. <laughs> the biggest reason I can't play retail right now is the complex damage rotations. Complex damage rotations are not what makes combat mm -hmm. fun for me. It's not what makes combat fun for a lot of people, man. Mm -hmm. Like, it should not be... I'm telling you, even if you want to have, like, a bunch of, like, utility Somebody spells, says, Rend is useful. It's spread with Thunderclap, and it's crazy good damage with arms, PvP, bleed build. Bro, that was not in Classic WoW. That was in Wrath and Cataclysm. Like, you don't even remember. Like, you don't remember, like, please stop that are interesting i'm down for that but mm -hmm. i swear the way you deal damage in this game is way too complicated it is i really believe that yep i think most specs their damage rotation is way too convoluted there's way too many buttons that don't really do that much but you're still forced to press like how how many how many spells do you think should be in a damage rotation like five single target one like two or three AOE or something one like that. <laughs> you did that one button downs. until they did. A lot of fun in TBC, just pressing Ice Lance and Frostbolt. Yeah. <laughs> you just get them until they're done. Choice, but you don't like complex damage rotations. Well, believe it or not, Arcane's damage rotation is significantly less complicated in PvP. It's still complicated. Mm -hmm. Like the concepts are complicated, but the actual buttons you press are way less complicated. Uh, the complexity of the game is what is killing its popularity. Making it easier to play would pull in more people, but it would make it less appealing for people that can play for it's hours. Not, it's just also that it's the time wa it's the time wasting mechanisms. It's having to run back after a raid wipe. It's having to get somebody new for your raid, but you don't have a warlock, so you have to have two people go out and summon them, and then running back. It's clearing ten minutes of trash. It's kill having a boss. And one person does something wrong in a 20-man raid, and everybody else dies. That's what's killing the fucking game as well. No, everyone soulstones heroes to prevent the run back. They should put that in a base game. If everybody so like, okay, so let me get this straight. So this is now like a skill cap to avoid wasting. So like, you have to be good at not letting the game waste your. What the fuck are we talking? What the? What the fuck is going on? Well, what if somebody releases? They accident they click the wrong button. Oh, I accidentally release. Oh, okay. Well, get a summoning stone down. Oh, we don't have a warlock. Okay, he's got to run back. The trash respawn though. Oh shit! <laughs> what? Oh my god! What is this? On end every day. I don't think Jesus. that's true though. WC predictions for the weekend. I don't I don't think that's true. In BFA they tried to make it easier to play and it had the opposite effect. I feel like Legion was pretty like I feel like Legion had pretty clean rotations. BFA was easier to play. You had like 50 different damage and, and like I don't that's no way. I kind of agree with Knight. Like, they made Wad easier to play. Yeah. Well, I feel like all the specs it. that I played in Legion were like pretty 
They were good. Yes. How do we get more people Legion to play baseball? Let's make everyone complete. use T-bars. Right, we actually had, this is kind of like a repeat of a conversation we were having earlier. Um, but I think the biggest problem is it just takes a really long time to get into WoW. Like the, ma yeah. the major challenges WoW has is like, if somebody watches WoW and then wants to play it, going from watching that it- That doesn't happen. <laughs> so nobody watches a WoW arena and it's like, wow, this is fun. I want to play this. They're, they're, like they're, first they have to look up what happened. That takes six hours to playing what you're seeing is months of work months and months and months and months and months of work yeah and then also even if you do all the work like you don't get invited another to challenge group. with wow and like i i keep feeling like i need to say this because like i said uh -huh. i love this game dedicated my life to this game favorite game i've ever played in my whole life okay so let's just get He's that out of the way on it now. even even if you do everything so here's another problem with WoW is even if you do everything let's say you actually buy the game you level up your character, you farm full honor gear and full conquest gear, you download all the add-ons you need, you set up all the add-ons mm -hmm. you need. Everything is great. You just Working you hard. everything. You spent so, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks, months and months and months, you finally got everything. Most of the time you're just gonna log in and not have anyone to play threes with, so you can't play. Or if you're gonna solo shuffle, it takes 30 minutes in queue. Yeah, just keep in mind that, that Vinruki just recorded a 19 minute video while he was in queue as far as i know for one game and that's a fact it's right that's there the you watch obstacle. you just watched it happen right. ben rookie is a legend this guy has been playing wow forever like he's such a good guy please make sure to give him a like give him a sub he still plays wow pvp he needs all the help he can get man like you're gonna get fucking cucked by this game the PvP. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's try to help Vin Rookie out. Yeah, but yeah, people. Yeah, you have a React content in the middle of arena queues. You watch um, one of the movies of Lord of the Rings. You know, like it, it's simple. Raider IO killed the game. No, it didn't. Raider IO had nothing to do with it. People, uh, you don't know this. Like everybody is like they always act, like what the fuck. People, nobody fucking remembers shit. In vanilla WoW, you would go to the banks of Stormwind and you would get inspected and either kicked out or invited to a group. Based off of a mage raid leader that sees a warrior in leather gear and assumes that you're a fucking idiot. In Burning Crusade, you would get invited or not invited based off of how much health you had because you had a lot of stamina and you had good gear. And guess what happened? You had people full of fucking arena gear, except for you had other people that had min-max tier 4 or tier 5 gear, never got invited. And then in, uh, in fucking Wrath, of course, we had gear score. Then in Cataclysm, we had item level. And also at that point, we also had achievements, right? It's like, I remember I used to tell people that like getting Kingslayer was like getting a college degree. You could finally join raids. So... It has, you were the one checking gear? No, I, I was actually the one getting gear checked at that point. But um, like in, in classic, yeah. Like people, it's always been like this. It's always been like this. Like it, it just, it was like this before Raider IO. It was before like this before fucking item level. It was bef like, it was always like this. There was no magical mythical time where you just get invited into a group because you've got a great personality and you're ready. You're a you're a go getter. No, that doesn't fucking exist, man. And it never did. It was always the same shit. I don't know why they still have depletion in Mythic Keys. I feel like if you deplete a key in WoW, they should make it to where everybody's key goes down. Actually, yeah, that's what they should do. They should make it to where like if you deplete a Mythic Plus key every person's key goes down by one level. Cause like, yeah, if, if no, why not? I mean, I think it's kind of unfair. Sounds very fair. Cause everybody takes the risk. Yeah. Like I, I completely agree. Yeah. True accountability. Well, if you have one person that just wants to watch the world burn and depletes keys on purpose, maybe you should be able to, you should be able to see what their key is to see if they actually should care. You know, if you see somebody has like a seven and like, you know, like, oh, this person doesn't care if it gets depleted or not. But yeah, I, I'm surprised that they haven't gotten rid of like key depletion. Uh, I've thought for a long time that, that key depletion was like really bad for WoW. But I don't know why, but Blizzard just like won't get rid of it. 
I think the reason why is because like people people say they're like, oh well, if you if you get rid of key depletion, well then what's the punishment for for losing? You just spent twenty minutes, and you lost. You, you just wasted twenty minutes. No risk, no motivation to push. There is a risk. You don't think that, it, bro? Do you not think wasting twenty minutes is not a risk? That's a huge risk. What do you mean? I think that's massive. The punishment's failing. Yes, like time is a risk. Yes, exactly. Wasting twenty minutes as a full-time jobber is awful. Yeah, and it's like really, yeah, you're right. It's more like an hour. Um, I think that, like, I I've said this before about, like, WoW, is that I think that WoW has no respect for your time. And I, I think it, I think that's the case because of the way that they do Mythic Plus. Like, I mean, PvP, I think, is actually pretty good, uh, in terms of, like, wasting your time. But I, I think that for Mythic Plus, and especially raiding, like, in, in raiding, like, this is, this is my opinion, I think they should get rid of 80% of the trash, minimum. Get rid of 80% of the trash and put a summoning stone in front of every boss and have each character instantly respawn in front of a boss with full buffs as soon as they die. Well, after everybody else dies, like as a wipe. Having to run back, having to summon people into the instance, this is just like, I, I'm, I, it just wastes my time. I don't want to do it. No. Talk about wasting 20 minutes on respecting time to still play Blizzard games. Well, I mean, if you've noticed, I've like kind of stopped playing WoW for that reason. Like that's kind of the point, right? Is that like we would do things in WoW and things would take such a long time. And summon some of our bosses, Warlock players fuming. Yes, fuck them. That's right. Remove mythic restriction. Yeah, completely remove the mythic restriction. Completely remove the uh, cross server restriction. Let people do whatever they want on day one of the patch. That's what I think. You're asking for a lot here? Why? Like, I'd be more likely to play the game if that was the case. Because, like, whenever I play WoW, what I do is that I... Whenever I'm I'm not doing a boss, I'm thinking about the fact that I'm not doing the boss. And that I'm in this raid at this point for a bullshit reason. It's the idea of meaningful loss of time. Well, yeah, and that's why I stopped playing. That's my point. A meaningful loss of time for me is that I stop playing the game. <laughs> of course. Most people enjoy the thrill of possible punishment, and if they're playing MMOs, they probably have time to burn. Well, then why have people... Why is, we, why is Retail WoW fallen off? And why have games that don't do that become more popular? Like, I, I don't know. I, I think that's a pretty big... <laughs> pre pretty big indicator. People called you crazy for wanting mixed pools of players for ally and horde for raiding guilds. Now people love it. WoW players don't know what's best for them. I think that the problem with WoW players and a lot of MMO players is that they're so attached to the things that they worked hard for that they don't understand that the journey to work hard for those things wasn't rewarding and they just did it because they were addicted to the game. So like things like uh, completing 250,000 honorable kills, stuff like that. Like, this is basically the same as, like, I have no respect for my time, right? Like, th that's basically what you could replace the title with. I think also, like, players have such... Like, they want to make sure that their achievements in the game are held in high regard. So they don't want to make the game more approachable to new players. Because if the game is more approachable to new players, then their achievement comparatively means less. Because other people can get it, and it's easier to get it. Does that make sense? Weren't you like that before? Yeah, I think whenever I was younger, I was more like that. But, you know, I got older and smarter and, you know, I got better perspective on it. And that's, you know, that that's why I, I say what I say now. Mm. Yeah, I grew out of it. Yeah. Back then, the indicator of what was a waste of time wasn't really there. Nowadays, if Dev finds a way to waste 20 minutes, we just go away. Well, I think it was. It's just that comparatively... And, and, and also... um. Like, in, in WoW, like, WoW was the massive time saver game. Because in, uh, like, Ultima Online and, like, EverQuest at the time, like, they wasted way more of your time than WoW did. And, like, you, wouldn't lo you would lose experience on death, you would lose your items sometimes. Like, it was really, really bad. So, like, WoW was actually seen as the, uh, like, that was, like, the baby MMO. Like, that was the, the MMO that kids played and people that, you know, couldn't handle a real MMO played. 
but the truth is that as soon as people played a, a version of the game uh, that was like not a time waster uh, they, they immediately moved over and played it because it was just better aren't people like EverQuest so much back then what changed well I think that also like a lot of times people like something because they don't have any frame of reference of something that could be better. So like, have you ever had like a game or something like that or something you did that like, oh wow, I thought this was great. And then you learn about something else and it like expands your worldview and you're like, wow, this is way much, way, way better. So what's the least time waste MMO in your opinion? Uh, I would say right now, probably Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I, I, I used to like to say Lost Ark, but I don't really think that's the case. I mean, for, in terms of raids, it's like a very much like a mixed bag. Like, there are good things about Lost Ark that don't waste your time at all. But I, I think that almost all of the good things are also in Final Fantasy XIV, whereas nothing of like the bad things are not. I think that in general, like gaming has gotten a lot more mainstream and there have been a lot more people that have come into gaming. And uh, because a lot more people have gotten into gaming, that's why I think people are, are also more okay with microtransactions too, because you know these are people that are used to being nickel and dimed for stupid shit in like the real world for consumerism. So like it's in the game now, well, guess what? Uh, it's not that big of a surprise. It's not, it doesn't really matter. In a game by itself, waste time for nine for some people. Well, I think it's a sense of satisfaction. Like uh, playing a game and like getting satisfaction out of it is what really matters to me about the difference is very apparent to you that there's isn't it's just a different opinion people say about hardcore as i wouldn't play or enjoy it i wouldn't care if other people played hardcore well no i, I don't really care what somebody else does uh, i just think that again if you play a game that arbitrarily wastes your time because of some something that's out of your control that you have no respect for your time especially like in such an extreme way like obviously you can have somebody wipe a raid or whatever but uh you know, to, to waste like hours or days of time. Uh, absolutely not. The reason I don't enjoy Tarkov wipes is it deletes everything you earn. It's enjoyable to play, but none of it matters. What's the point? I don't mind that as much because it's part of the game. But like whenever something happens that you can't control is what the issue is. Would you like a mechanic where you can't transfer a hardcore realm to? I, I, I think that they should have that in general. Like PoE has that where like if you die in hardcore, your character goes to... Uh, your character goes to softcore realms. I don't know why Diablo doesn't have that. I feel like that's just it, just a better option in general. Mm. What's the key difference between hard hard mechanics and wasteful mechanics? So this is the way that I see it. So what I consider like a hard mechanic and a wasteful mechanic is like wasteful mechanics make you go backwards and hard mechanics make you go back to where you began before you began the mechanic, if that makes sense. Things that are wasteful, I think it's like you have to go back and like refarm a bunch of bullshit, do a bunch of other things. That's what I don't like. It's like having to go back and, and redo the same thing just so I can get a chance to do something else. Yeah, basically backwards progression. Jump King and Only Up. Well, I quit both of those games because they're not fun. Like to me, I get satisfaction out of playing games and I, I really enjoy them a lot. But whenever I'm playing a game and I make backwards progression, that link is just like immediately severed, like mentally. Like as soon as I realize like, okay, well, I, you know, actually what I did doesn't matter because I just lost it, then I'm done. The time I see in games feels like the devs are doing it for make you pay for skips, even if it isn't true. Yeah. Dark Souls is the same thing though. The only person who would say that is a person who doesn't understand Dark Souls. And it's okay, right? I mean, like maybe you didn't play it or whatever. Because, like, people always use, like, Dark Souls as an example, but they don't really understand the way that Dark Souls works. I also believe that they're just milking the WoW game now. Well, I think the problem with, like, WoW is that there are a lot of things in the game that, as I said, they just waste your fucking time, man.